Something that's important is being able to uh, attack both sides. Not only a single leg with my left hand, high cross with my left hand, but a single leg with my left hand, single leg, single leg with my right hand, high cross with my left hand, high cross with my right hand. So I say that because there's gonna be certain opportunities that open, open itself up when I'm pulling this wrist off of my opponent. So he's, he's bracing up, I'm pulling this wrist off. There's certain things that are gonna open up on this side that are on my offside. So what I mean by that is this is my offside high crotch. All right, so this would be my normal single side, sweep single, bread and butter. But sometimes there's gonna be a high crotch that opens up on this side and I gotta be able to go to it. So maybe he reaches his hand up and just slip it underneath him right there. I have to be able to shoot here and finish here even though it's my offside. So I can't emphasize enough to, you know, guys that are trying to jump to that next level or young kids, shoot your shots both sides. High crotch is this side, high crotch is this side. Singles this side, singles this side. Because another thing that's gonna happen is I might shoot a single on this side and this guy's a really good defensive wrestler and he's gonna throw my head to the outside right here. This is trouble for a lot of guys because they don't know how to finish high crotch on their offside. But if you're hitting your attacks and you're practicing your attacks on both sides, finishing both sides, that shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be an issue if I shoot this single leg here and he throws my head to the outside, I'm right into my high crotch finish right here. No problem, shouldn't be an issue. So my biggest piece of advice to anybody trying to jump that next level or young kids, shoot your attacks both sides. Hit your singles this side, hit your singles this side. 